Welcome back to Across Louisiana. You know, one of the most important things that you can have is hope. You're here to talk to us a little bit about the power of hope is Janet Simmons with Hope Ministries of Baton Rouge. Welcome to the show, Janet. Thank you so much, Nils. For people here in the community who might not be familiar with all the great mm -hmm. things that Hope Ministries is doing, talk mm -hmm. to me a little bit about that. Okay, I, I want to start with our mission, which is to prevent homelessness and to promote self-sufficiency and dignity. And the reason that's so important is because all of our programs drive from that mission statement. So everything that we do is intended to help people to be, become more self-sufficient, become independent, and not be dependent on government help, assistance, or help from other organizations. We want them to become self-sufficient. But the way that we do that is to possibly provide them those resources originally so that they can get there. So we have three or four programs that we that are designed just for that. One is our Client Choice Food Pantry where we meet be basic needs for people that don't have food. And we help them get food for their families and then we assess their needs to see what else we can do to get to that, them to that level of self-sufficiency that they can get to. And everybody is individual, everybody is different, everybody has different needs. So we take it on an individual needs basis and we determine it from there. We do in-depth assessments and we look at their lives and say, okay, we can take them here, whereas they may be here and we've gotten that much further to independence. Um, another program that we have is called our Family Mentoring Program where we actually, it's a long-term case management program where we help them identify those root causes of what's keeping them back okay. and then helping them to plan, make a plan of action of how they're going to get out. Then we have a 40-hour workshop series called Going Beyond where we actually sit down for 40 hours in over an eight-week period wow. and our clients can actually learn all of those things that they've learned as a child that they need to unlearn <laughs> so that they can learn how to better manage their lives and, and be productive citizens of, of the um, community. And then we have a workforce training um, program also that's called Hope Works, and that helps people and companies that hire people that are low to moderate income uh, employees, helps them to understand the different things that their employees are struggling with, and also helps the employees know what their managers struggle with, and hopefully closing that gap so that we can have a strong workforce in the community. That sounds like a really holistic approach and I know to that end you have some exciting events coming up to keep you doing that sort of work. Right. Talk to me a little about some of the stuff you have coming up with Kyle Maynard. Okay. Uh, the Power of Hope, this is our fourth year of doing the Power of Hope and we do it every two years. It's our signature fundraiser and we're bringing in a young man named Kyle Maynard who was born a congenital amputee and that means he was born without arms to his elbows and legs to his knees. Okay. And his story is an incredible story. Um, it, he's written a book called No Excuses, and this is the book. And he, this book talks about his life being born with no arms and legs and how his parents and his friends and family and coaches came around and basically said, "We're not gonna, that's not going to hold you back. You're going to do whatever anybody else does. So he played football when he was a kid. He actually wrestled when he was in high school, and he um, wrestled for the University of Georgia. Um, it, incredible. He's also now into MMA wrestling, and he just finished climbing to the mount or to the summit of Mount Kilimanjaro uh, last year, and without any help, without any prosthetics or any help of uh, assistance from other people. So his story is going to be great because it really mirrors our mission. Basically, we're trying to help our clients not make excuses, but we're going to get beyond that. And so this, this event is going to be a wonderful event for um, him to be able to come to Hope. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Real quickly, I know people are going to want to take part in that. Let them know where they could go to find out more or attend these great events. Right. March 27th at 7 o'clock at the Renaissance is when his event is. We are also doing a, an event in the morning for about six, uh, 600 students at Baton Rouge High, and that's going to be an awesome event, too. So Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for coming on and telling us all about it. Thank Look forward you. to that great event, and thanks for the work you're doing out in our community. Thank you really so appreciate much. It. Appreciate it. We come back on Across Louisiana, find out how you can stop smoking with Dr. Satish Gotti. Don't miss it.